Hello and welcome to the Vasilia Romeo channel. My name is Michael and today we continue playing Crusader Kings 2 with the historical immersion modification and we are playing as the King Sahak the Blessed of the Kingdom or rather Bagratuni Kingdom of Armenia or Haik or Hayastan as the Armenians call themselves. So, in the previous episode we reunited the whole of the historical, or rather the Jura kingdom, that the way it is in the game. And now we can start building our empire. And as I said, that would be us getting all the way down to Antioch and taking Syria, Cilicia or Kilikia and parts of the western westernmost parts of Armenia or I don't know it also can be called Cappadocia I mean the borders are a bit unclear here there's like this part is Cappadocia, but this part is probably already Armenia, or maybe a bit more to the west, a bit more to the east, who knows. So, <clears throat> now let's stop this little, little annoying Finno Ugric raider. Imagine being a Finno Ugric chief living somewhere. In the forest of the night, yeah, in the forest of the north, being all the way down, or rather up here, like just imagine that, it's basically almost Siberia, and you being the very crazy guy that you are, you just go down through all the steps with 55 men just to get to this mountainous rugged kingdom of Armenia to get some coin. I mean, I don't know, but for me it just sounds like madness. Absolute madness. Okay, let's put someone. Uh, Vahag. What's the point of that, hey, anyway? What was he hoping for, even? Just die, scum. Okay, let's return to our capital. The peasants of Dwin are quite far apart and spread out. Your spymaster, Hethum, suggests investing in a provincial messenger system to, uh, so that they can communicate with their kin more easily. He claims that doing so would attract more peasants to the county. Oh yes, an excellent idea. Now let's disband the armies. Let's also uh, send... Okay, he's already... Wait, no. Where is he? He's in Tyke. He's training the guys in Tyke, okay. I'm okay with that. Now. We can hold a grand tournament, and I think we should. Tagabor Sahak of Hike has decided to hold a grand tournament. He has sent the invitations out to warriors across Hike, calling them to assemble at Chirak in two months' time. This event promises to be a spectacle of enormous magnitude, and it is said that victors in the grand melee, will, melee event will earn a hefty reward as well as the respect of the realm. May the best fighter earn their praise in the sight of God. The tournament begins soon. Okay. Also, the guy is very good at learning and in, at martial. Thinking about it, we can actually uh, try to compose a book. Why not? 
let's see. We can write a book about war or about learning. Yeah, either this or that. And since we are better at war, I think we should do this. Yep. I mean, the guy is still relatively young. The Grand Tournament begins. The time has finally arrived, with fighters and spectators streaming into Chirac and the streets filling with merchants and curious peasants. The Grand Tournament finally gets underway. Over the next two months, all will show their martial brilliance for the greater honor and glory of Hike. I look forward to watching from the stands. I mean, you could have actually participated. Participated in that indeed you are a good fighter. Why not? I mean yes, you are a one-handed, but it doesn't mean that you are weak Anyway, you could have won actually Okay, is she okay, Who's her? Father. Her father is one of the previous rulers of this county. Okay. It's the brother of the current ruler of Sivnik, I see. There has been a great deal of talk at the tournament of Elise Beauty. From the moment she arrived, men have been falling in all over themselves to earn her favor, and many a painter has promised to commemorate her visage in a work of art. Some are suggesting she is the new beauty of Hike. Eh, is that really that beautiful? I don't know, I wouldn't say so. But who am I to judge after all? Okay, we lost our court chaplain. Let's put this guy in the position. Let's put him also in the position of court physician. Let's get Keeper of Swan, this Avedis guy. High Armoner, this guy. Oh, wait. We should actually put our Catholicos. Court tutor will be this guy. And commanders are there. We are okay. While he lost several of his boats, Hagop where Tavush still fought well enough to earn his way to the third place in Tagabo Sahak Grand Tournament, and fought hard he did. Having lost only his final march in the Millies, Azad Atom where Daroink bravely has won him second place in Tagabo Sahak Grand Tournament, the most valiant performance, uh, having battled his way through the entirety of the Grand Melee. Sarkisve Faragavang has been crowned the winner of Tagavor Sahak's Grand Tournament and has bestowed his honors in an elaborate ceremony. He truly deserves it. While the winners crowned the, the tents are torn down, the Grand Tournament, Tournament is officially over and now it's time to bask in the glory of the event, an event to remember. Cool. Also, why is that? Oh, it's consumption. No, slow fever, apparently. I mean, we can go into seclusion, but I don't know, should we really? It's thinking about it's already in the capital, but okay. Or maybe no. I mean, if we die, we die. If we live, we live. Dear Tagavor Sahak of Haik, during your wife's recent visit to Kambet Shok, goddamn, how to pronounce that stuff? Great na 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 no, I'll make you my vassal one day. Talking about vassalizing people, there's like this guy. Let's actually do just that. We don't have any event that would take us 
from I don't know some carousing or tournaments so we can easily do that declare war establish tributary state there we go next let's get our vessels troops and let's send them to here Let us resolve this conflict peacefully. In exchange for putting a stop to this war and preventing bloodshed, I shall agree to your demands, and the lands of Kambe Chovani will pay tribute to you. All I ask is that you promise safety for my people and send your soldiers home. I accept your proposal. Imagine we don't even have to go to war with people. Okay, let's actually take a look at our diplomatic screen. So, this guy is Wassel of ours, this guy is also our Wassel. Not Wassel, but rather tributary. And then there is this kingdom. And this guy who also controls just one county. Let's do that. Declare war, establish tributary state. I wonder if he be wise enough to do the same thing, but no, it doesn't seem to be the case. He wants war, he'll get it. Bishop Atom, okay. It's now a tributary due to inheritance between, yeah. Yes, yes, you are. And you are as well. Oh, look at that. That's some Turkish guy here. Ishan somewhat of Sivnik has declared Sivnik and Holy War for uh, basically Azerbaijan. So, oh boy. That would basically almost double the size of our country. Huh. Can't be too much against it because, well, that will be a part of our empire. Why not? We also take this county, or rather duchy, this, this, and all the way down to Tarablus. That would be even bigger than the Tigran the Great's empire. Bigger and greater. Now, let's see who's trying to kill us. Nobody's trying to kill us. What's the issue then? Also, I think we should actually conquer the kingdom, or is it, what is it exactly? Sultanate of Shervan. Oh, we can make them our tributary as well. Now let's actually go to here in order to save the city. I wouldn't want to see any of my subjects being raided, looted or whatever. I am their king after all. Look at that. Negotiate with Kabukshin. Who is Kabukshin? Chief Kai. I only see this guy. Ah, okay. He is Kabukshin Gila. Okay, 
Okay. Try to do anything in my provinces, I will destroy you. Actually, how strong you are. And you are also pretty weak. Yeah, as always. You're gonna die soon. I can assure you. King of Armenia is not to be played with. Die, scum. I wonder if we can intercept them here. Oh. Count Chaplin, a thorn burst into your chambers, flung by Sir blah blah blah. Blah blah blah, she's obviously a witch, Lely. Why? She, she, there, there's nothing wrong with her. Die, and then we go there. Oh. Let me guess, another Turkic scum decided to loot in my territories. I have received a letter from my fellow member of the community of Saint Anthony, Wasak. Dear brother Sahak, will you, as the Christian scholar, you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry, or the attempt of it. Reading through the attached documents, there are multiple verses all in honor of God. Kisa. Kisa, you're going to die. I can assure you, annoying little scum. Okay, let's finish with this war. I'll leave them alone, we are not there to conquer. Enforce demands. Yes, you are now a tributary. Even though we lost quite a lot of my boys in there, sadly. During that siege, I was beginning to think that Wasak took offense to my comments, but today I have received a new draft of his work. I am surprised to find that his words really speak to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out. I implore you, brother, bear with me. It's not finished. Okay, let's do that. I am flattered that you think the community of St. Anthony could benefit from my work, Wasak writes in his later. Thank you for, for your support, brother. He continues before assuring me of the finishing touches he intends to see to before the final version of the mind will enter the library. Okay. Okay, we wouldn't be able to crush their army right now, but we will follow them. Follow them until we f destroy them completely. We go to Tashir after that. I don't like to leave things unfinished. Yeah. 
is another turkey crater, imagine that. Now they go to Cartley. No, Cartley. Athol, Lahag, and after that to Alania. I mean, believe me, I will follow you to the edge of the world if needed. But we will find you and we will destroy you. Still, still they are not finished. Whatever. They go to Busan. And from there to Tokmak. Well, that's quite a journey we just made. And they, yeah, they are not hostile anymore. Well, that's sad. All this sacrifice for nothing. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll be able to actually uh, intercept these guys. that and your plot and yet another Turkic guy will there be any end to them ever correct next one on the chopping block Prisoners, Yavante. I'm sorry, Yavante, but I will kill you. I tolerate no scum. Who are you? Kartveli? I will ransom you. You are not an enemy of mine. And you are. Oh. Weird, but you will die. Probably this guy was imprisoned after our previous war with the Caliphate. Die. Okay, we still were not capable of destroying their army completely. Let's see how it goes. They probably would go to Tarablus, well actually no, to Colonia. And then to Sebastia. Constantly fighting these invaders. Let's see, we have green fingers and preserver of poetry, so we just buy them. That way we'll get some new modifier. Oh, they go back to Sevastia apparently. God's blessing upon the Megal's Chem of Sahak, the community of Sandy, some more fans. Okay. I will. I will actually do it right now. And let's kill this guy. It's interesting that the second guy already called Yavante. And we get Rose Gardens, monthly prestige plus 0.1. Where are you going next to Kaisun? If you think you can run forever, you're wrong. Now you are dead. 
we can finally return our army back to the capital. Oh, look at that. The guy... The guy brought the wrath of the Caliphate on himself. And he is not the king. Uh, just look at that. Yet another one. And it, he's again called Kisa. Kisa! Believe me, there is no place for you. And whatever you try to do, we will be following you closely. Kisa, we will be following you. So don't try any shite. Kisa. And get the hell out of here, Kisa. You are not welcome here. They will just stay in whatever province they are. Just to make sure that they'll be destroyed when the time comes. In Sivnik you go, we shall follow you. In Artsakh you go, we shall follow you. Believe me, Kisa, we will follow you everywhere. There will be no excuse and no opportunity for you to do anything here. Now let's disband these guys, because our vassals, oh my god, look at these numbers, they are really pissed off right now. I don't think that we should actually go con on conquest right now, this guy had enough during his life lifetime. My scribes have provided me with the latest draft of my book. Upon reading it, I am not convinced it is moving in the right direction. I could perhaps ask Sarkis Wewaragawank for advice on the matter. If nothing else is likely to be flooded by it. Well, he's kinda okay. This has a risk of lowering quality of your work. Okay. Also, interestingly. Interestingly, they actually control quite a big chunk of Georgia currently. This Turkish scum. Or I should say Turkic. Now. These guys is my vassal, this one and this one. Now we should take on this boy. Oh, we won't be able to because this boy is the vassal of, of the Caliphate apparently. But if we get enough troops, we can actually try to get, try to attack the, this guy, but he's currently pretty strong, so not a good idea. That would require probably the whole of our army to be able to do su such a fit. Why do you hate me though? Oh, raise levels, I see. I sent you a gift. Okay. The long period of unrest and sporadic popular uprisings in, s in China has turned into a full-blown civil war. Many think that Emperor Li Huanzhong is weak and has lost the mandate of heaven. Even as he covers in Hangzhou, massive rebel armies are on the move, attacking loyalist strongholds 
Still the rebels have not yet gathered under a single leader and the different factions are even fighting each other. Silk Road profits are halved and tributaries they can use this opportunity to break free. China will not be able to assist them should they be attacked anyway. Li Huang Zhong. Okay. Don't remember that there was a Li Empire. But probably it's actually Song. He has portrayed his office. Now, since you are our new Sparapet, we should send you to one hand. And you we will imprison and shall we kill you? I will banish you. Life isn't too bad. Great, we are not stressed anymore. I always imagined they would be the first of us to go. Okay. Let's drink in his honor. I hope you won't become... Oh shit, of course you would. But hopefully due to our position in the community of Saint Anthony and also the fact that we have the theology focus we will be able to, uh, to, 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 to actually we will be able to actually get rid of this drunkard status a great work let's see what we can build not much apparently Great Cathedral, Great Fortress, Great Walls, Royal Palace. Magnificent Garden, Grand University, Grand Library, Grand Mausoleum, Grand Aqueduct, Triumphal Arc, River Bridge, Market Cross, Imposing Obelisk. I guess building Grand Cathedral would be a good option, but we don't have currently money. The money that requires. So, these idiots declared war on me again. Erasmus, zero troops. I wonder what would happen if I kill him. Or should we kidnap him instead? Uh, dude, I hope you will be able to deal with this guy because I don't want to hire or gather any of my troops due to this particular problem. Now let's see. So we can... Okay, wait. After years of confusing warfare and shifting alliances, the Chinese Civil War is finally over. A warlike terrorist Hmong from Luoyang has emerged victorious and now rules as Emperor Han Taizu. A man of the people, the new emperor has cleaned out the corrupt bureaucrats of the old regime. Things are slowly returning to normal in the Middle Kingdom and Silk Road is safe again. Han? I don't remember there was Han Empire. Weird. So, I'll send you a gift. I'll send you a gift. I'll send you a gift. Now you should join me. And we have... Play Warlock. Is he a Warlock though? I mean, yeah, he's club-footed and depressed. Doesn't make him a Warlock. So, leave him alone. The recent turmoil in the Middle Kingdom has left the old house of in chaos. The old house of someone. Of Li, I suppose, removed from the old line of succession, Prince Tai Xie now seeks a new fu future west of the Ling Empire. 
rumors say that raiding and looting follow in his footsteps. How unsettling. Yeah, yeah, I will donate. Also, let's take a war of celibacy. I mean, you won't be able to get any new children anyway. He is currently residing in Constantinopolis. I mean, he's just residing in Constantinopolis, doing nothing, having no troops, and he declared war on me. He's crazy. Absolutely. Idiotic. Soon, I think, when we get rid of this, of this modifiers will just declare war on this Turkic guy will make him our vassal then we declare war on this guy and we will make him our vassal and then we declare war on this guy and we will make oh he's already wait is he huh wait he is cool he just became a bit stronger apparently and then there's yet another Turkic guy a truck is a nogly imbecile. Well, I never doubted this particular fact about these raiders. They are indeed imbeciles. Okay, let's hire my own troops so that my vassals wouldn't be pissed off even more than they currently are. Let's send them to one end. Ah, now you're running! Fucking coward. Your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around the realm and among others it is it has quite impressed Bishop of Edis of Bhagawan. You have maintained correspondence on various religious and philosophical matters for some time and find that you are rapidly becoming good friends. Uh, let's see, the guy has so many friends. I wish I had so many. I wish we could go out conquering people, but not until we get rid of these modifiers. There is a revolt in Constantinopolis, or rather in the Roman Empire. The guy, or the governor, the strategos of Obsequion apparently rebelled against the emperor, which is which happened historically quite often. Scythopolis. Andreas Scythopolis. 
He was probably historically either a Slav or a Turkic guy. Syriacs. Look at how many Syriacs are still here. Thirty-one. Your acquaintance Naksahar Ashot Mansagir died. It was my friend and my nephew, as well. well. That's pretty sad, actually. There's a peasant revolt in Zoraget. Well, that's not good. But since we are at war, we can actually hire all of my vassal's troops and send them to. Let's send him to the win. Come on, can you not? Just don't go there. To the strong scholar Sahak, peace be with you. We request that you honor your obligation and answer our this call to arms against Haitham and the Haitami Sultanate. What is this war? Heretian religious reconquest of Sherwan. I accept that that is kind of your own wall. I see what you're doing here. I have gained a newfound respect for the hermits of all my time spent fasting and praying and seclusion has done me good. God has helped me straight in my mind. Cool. Not a drunkard anymore. Great focus this theology. It really is really good. Helps with all the vices. There are a few minutes. Well, okay, okay. Secluded penance. Penance again? No. How about no? Okay. You're good at you're good at nothing but among all the stuff you are the best at stewardship so let's discuss stewardship with you come on get there already why are you so slow Let's disband this army. Okay, the rebellion for some reason ended, probably because Bardas inherited. Oh, interestingly, Constantinus died. Leon died. The famous Leo the Wise. Wise, rather, 
and then this the last son a historical one I assume and he inherited during the consoles meeting blah, blah, blah. okay it's about some artifact yeah okay let's get it Prison and let's banish. Banish him from our realm. Send a gift. And no matter how many people join us, we cannot do it for some reason. These guys probably losing this war, but I'm okay with that. I'm not interested in my vassals becoming too strong in that direction. I would rather take Sherwan for myself. Okay. Uh, did he die? Yeah, that guy died probably. Okay, he finally became a a a a. Apostolic Christian. Let her go. Leave these people alone. Also, when will you finish this book? Finally. You'll probably die faster than you finish it. Okay, now we finally can actually build the Great Cathedral. Yeah, Annie is here, so yeah, let's build it. Great Cathedral. Why can't we build fortress? No. Great Cathedral of Ani. Now, I wonder if I send my steer there, would that help with the build building speed? Okay, so there can be a trade post in Karin. Oh wait, can it? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's not a trade post, it's just a... It's just a intersection or something. Anyway, that was a nice peaceful decade for our kingdom. 
and I guess we should finish the episode right here until it becomes too long to digest. So my friends, I thank you for watching. Please consider liking, sharing and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.